In this video, we're going to try answering the question of what is the relationship between the price of gold and the US dollar? The short answer to this question is that the price of gold is inversely related to the US dollar. The long answer involves the following example. Now let's assume that in the world there are only three currencies. Now the first currency we're going to assume is the US dollar. The second currency we're going to assume is gold, which I'm going to write over here. And if you watched our previous video, you know the reason that we're treating gold as a currency is because a lot of the people who demand gold in the global markets are people who are looking for a store of value for their money. And because people who are investing in gold or buying gold are often comparing it to other currencies, it makes sense to think of gold as a currency. Now for our third currency, we're going to group together all the other currencies in the world other than the US dollar and gold and just treat them as one currency. So for example, we're going to group together the Euro, the Japanese Yen, the Thai Baht, the Indian Rupee and so on and just treat it as one currency which we're going to call rest of the world. Now we're going to assume that the exchange rate between US dollars and gold is such that you can exchange one unit of gold for 1,000 US dollars. And typically in the gold market, one unit of gold is equal to one ounce of gold. So we're going to assume that one unit of gold or one ounce of gold is equal to 1,000 US dollars. So that's the exchange rate between US dollars and gold. We're also going to assume that the exchange rate between US dollars and rest of the world currencies are such that one US dollar is equal to two rest of the world currency. And this is really just the same as saying that one US dollar is worth twice as much as the average rest of the world currency. Now as you can imagine there'll probably be a large market for exchanging gold to rest of the world currencies which I'm going to draw over here. And the question is what should the exchange rate between gold and rest of the world currency be? And the first thing that's important to realize is that if you've defined the exchange rate between gold and US dollars and US dollars and rest of the world currency, you've effectively determined the exchange rate between gold and rest of the world currencies. And you can figure out what this exchange rate is by just solving these two equations that we've already defined. So I'm going to do that over here. I'm going to say one unit of gold is equal to 1,000 US dollars and one US dollars is equal to two rest of the world currency. We know this from over here. And this implies that one unit of gold is equal to 2,000 rest of the world currency. And so I'm going to write that over here. So to recap, if you've defined any two of these exchange rates between the US dollar, gold, and rest of the world currency, so for instance, if you've defined this exchange rate and this exchange rate, that means that you've implicitly defined this exchange rate over here. And similarly, if you had defined this exchange rate and this exchange rate, that means that you've effectively defined this exchange rate over here. Now the other thing that's important to know is that when you go out into the market and you buy gold, the price of gold is typically denominated in US dollars. And what that really means is that when you buy gold, you are buying exposure to this number. Meaning the profitability of your investment of buying gold or your trade of selling gold will be dependent upon this exchange rate between gold and US dollars. So to be more explicit, when you buy gold, if the exchange rate between gold and US dollars is one unit of gold is equal to 1,000 US dollars, and after you buy gold, if this exchange rate changes to one unit of gold is equal to 500 US dollars, you will have incurred a loss on your investment or on your trade. Now on the other hand, if the exchange rate changes such that one unit of gold is equal to 2,000 US dollars, you will see a profit. And so it's really key to understand that when you go out into the gold market and you buy gold, you are buying exposure to this exchange rate. But as we've already talked about, the exchange rate between US dollars and gold is dependent upon the other two exchange rates. So if we assume for a second that this exchange rate over here 
the one between gold and rest of the world currency is constant, that implies that a change in this exchange rate between US dollars and rest of the world currency will cause a change between US dollars and gold. So let's assume that the exchange rate between US dollars and rest of the world now changes such that one US dollar is equal to one rest of the world currency. So the value of the US dollar has gone down relative to the rest of the world. If we now assume that this is the case and that this exchange rate is constant, what does that mean for this exchange rate between US dollars and gold? Well, we can just solve the equation and we can say that we know that one unit of gold is equal to 2,000 rest of the world currency and one US dollar is equal to one rest of the world currency. So that means that one unit of gold is equal to 2,000 US dollars. So this exchange rate between US dollars and gold has changed to one unit of gold is equal to 2,000 US dollars. So put in other words, because the US dollar has become weaker or is worth less relative to rest of the world currencies, that means that the price of gold in US dollars has gone up. And the opposite is also true. So if we had assumed that instead of one US dollar being equal to one rest of the world currency, we had assumed that one US dollar is equal to four rest of the world currency, meaning the value of the US dollar had gone up by a factor of two, then that would imply that the price of gold would be equal to 500 US dollars. So the big picture here is that because gold is denominated in US dollars, you are getting exposure to this number over here. And this number over here is dependent upon these two exchange rates. So if you assume that this exchange rate, the one between gold and the rest of the world currency is constant, that implies that a strengthening US dollar will decrease the price of gold in US dollars and that a more valuable US dollar will imply a decrease in the price of gold. Now based upon this you might expect historically to see a relationship between the gold price in US dollars and the exchange rate between US dollars and rest of the world currency. This is what that chart looks like. So this graph in front of you covers the period from 1970 to early 2011. And the blue line shows the price of gold in US dollars, which we've been referring to sometimes as the exchange rate between US dollars and gold. And the pink line shows the value of the US dollar relative to a basket of currencies from the rest of the world. And so when the pink line is going up, it means that the value of the dollar is strengthening relative to other currencies. And when the pink line is going down, it means that the dollar is weakening relative to other currencies. Now, as you can sort of see, these two lines tend to be inverses of one another. Meaning over here, as you can see, as the dollar is declining, the value of gold is increasing. Here, as the dollar is increasing, the value of gold is declining. Here, as the value of the dollar declines, you can see gold rally. Over here, as the value of the dollar increases, you can see the value of gold go down. And finally here, as you can see the value of the dollar decline, you can see the value of gold go up. So the big picture here is that when you go out into the market and you buy gold, some of the profitability of that investment or that trade is simply determined by changes in the exchange rate between the US dollar and rest of the world currencies. Put in other ways, when you buy gold, you are getting inverse US dollar exposure. 